in a bid to counter the rising cost of production and sustain livestock upkeeping, some farmers have resorted to formulating their own feeds. This is exactly what a couple in Kajiado County has embarked on in a bid to make their dairy farming venture sustainable. Our very own Dennis Otieno paid them a visit and tells us more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> Are the days when Daniel Lepate and his wife Mary would worry about feeds for their dairy cattle. At the heart of Enka City Village in Isinya Town, Kajado County, the couple has managed to maintain operations perfectly on their 20 acre farm by making their own dairy feed. Buy feeds from the shop is very expensive, number one. Number two, you'll not be able to tell exactly what the feed contain. You may find some feeds has a lot of aflatoxin. When you are in farming and you are, you are producing your food, automatically you are, you, are, you, are, you are saving a lot. You are almost saved, almost to save 50% of what you could have spent when you buy the feeds. The couple began their livestock venture in August 2016. Today, they have a total of 60 dairy cattle and about 300 Kenyaji chicken. In 2019, Daniel and his wife struggled a bit in feeding their livestock as they faced high production costs due to an increase in animal feed costs. To counter the challenge, they began making their own feeds. They set aside a section of their farm to grow maize. We, we grind cob, maize cobs, maize, sunflower, soya, and uh, a bit of uh, uh, wheat and also salt. And we also have to put toxic binder. It binds whatever the toxics that is in the food because you don't know the soya where, where, it, where it's coming from. A decision to mechanize the feed making process has seen the couple reduce production costs and ensure constant supply of daily meal for the animals throughout the year. We have about four machines. One, uh, the, the, the main big one is for for crushing grass and uh, and uh, mixer, which which also make the uh, dairy meal, grass, because we crush our grass so that we don't have cost, we minimize waste, because we don't have waste, we can use up to three bales feeding, one bale feeding three animals. If I was buying at a, a sack of, of uh, 70 kgs at a high yield, high the, the high yield dairy meal goes for, I think, 2,800, the best, 2,800. Now I'm doing at 1,900. Making your own feeds at the farm level requires a great deal of financial commitment. Daniel and his wife have invested nearly 2 million shillings to procure machines such as these and others around the farm, and they're now using them on a weekly basis to process their feeds. My feeds, I just do it uh, uh, once a week and it is now for almost a week or two weeks because the machine does uh, 100 tons per day. We have big machines which does 100 tons of uh, daily meal per day, so we can even do it once in a, in a month and it is now for the all animals we are feeding. For all the hard work, the couple gets about 250 liters of milk daily and have gone ahead with value addition to make yogurt, which they sell to customers in Kitengela and other parts of the country. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.